Welcome back to Design, Engineer, and Build. Uh, today, after using the grill, uh, if you've been watching along, um, I realized that there's a void between those tanks that is a good opportunity, I think, for storage and uh, for flippers, for a roll of paper towel, for spices possibly, uh, whatever you're going to use for grilling, which I seem to be running after every time I use that and putting them in various places. If I had a place to store those, um, I think that would be uh, advantageous to uh, the efficiency of the grill. So today, I got some one inch square steel, uh, just because it's easy to work with, uh, but this is a lighter weight. It's a 16 gauge, one inch steel square. And I'm gonna make some frames again, uh, like I did when I was building the grill. And uh, I've got a crude, kind of a crude drawing, but uh, there's about a 16 inch width between, usable width between those tanks, and uh, probably been an eight inch length from front to back that is a usable space. And uh, I think I'm gonna make two six inch spaces and a, a one foot space, or nearly a one foot space, because I've got a little better than two feet between that ladder frame at the bottom of the grill and the very top. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, and uh, I'll bring you along on this build if you're interested, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So as you can see, I initially got um, 60 feet of uh, the one inch square. There's nine there. I had them cut in half to six feet. Uh, reason being is that the little frames that I'm gonna make are uh, just within a couple inches of six feet. So what I did was just cut a 45 at each end, cut the notches, um, this one 16, 18, 16, and obviously 18, and hopefully I'll be able to fold this together and then uh, re-weld it. Anyway, that's the plan. Now this may seem a little elaborate, but I did make a plywood panel uh, two inches shy of the frame that I'm making, obviously an inch on both sides, and um, clamping it in place and making some, some slight adjustments with uh, the angle grinder, uh, etc. I've got it to fit pretty well. So from this point, I'll tack the corners, uh, the ones, the places that I can reach with the welder, and uh, take the clamps off and finish the weld then from there. So just to prep these uh, to make sure that there's some semblance of organization and squareness to these, um, cut little slivers from that initial piece, that, that panel that I put in here. Cut pieces so that I get that same kind of distance on either side and then this one to center. So I'll do two of those so that that little plastic piece will slide in here and it'll look uh, uniform to the one just above it. So I'll do two of these, got to weld these in place, and then uh, I'll continue. Now that I have the four squares in the one inch tube built, I'm building the uprights. I need four of those, obviously, uh, for each corner. And what I did was cut it to the height of the grill underneath the grill and I've got about 26 inches to deal with. So I've got uh, small plastic containers that are about five and three quarters. So I made each of these sections, or two of them, six inches and the rest is just the remainder. Um, I cut out two sides, two sides so that the corner will fit in like so and then I'll weld it in place. So that's what I'm doing now. I've got uh, one cut out. I've got the other three here all marked out, laid them side by side, clamped them together, made all the, the lines at the same time so that there's hopefully a little more continuity with, uh, with each piece when I uh, do the assembly. 
Okay, so here's my setup for the next portion of this build. I got my corner in place with the magnets to hold it square. This is my bottom shelf. This is my third shelf. As you see, the divisions on the on here are a little bit different. I'm going to put a drawer slide on each one of these. This side is going to pull out and there'll be a paper towel roll right here. This side, I think I'm going to have just a pull out shelf. Uh, so when you're cooking, if you just one more thing to put, uh, put something on when you're cooking. It always seems like you never have enough horizontal surface. So that's what it is. The second shelf is exactly the same as this. And uh, we'll just work our way up uh, with these magnets, trying to keep things as square as we can. And uh, so hopefully things to go together uh, as planned. Well, I know I skipped a lot of steps, but here it is in its rough form. In place, excuse my spinning around here, but it fits right up right up next to that overhang pulls right up tight along there and if you notice i had to cut that down slightly because unfortunately i made it slightly too tall and there's not a lot of give in this um, but the inspiration for this was just this goofy little um, plastic thing and I may do something at a later date, but uh, those are easy to purchase. They're all, a lot of them are uniform size and uh, they obviously keep the weather out, etc. So it's not a bad choice. I think the top yet, I'm still going to do a paper towel rack here and I'm going to put a shelf over here. <clears throat> so that's in the making. Now, I think I know what you're thinking already. This is a little bit overkill for a... Uh paper towel holder. But I got a piece of three quarter inch pipe. Actually, it's outside is inch and a quarter. Um, and then I installed uh, a little tab, flat tab on the back side and put a little magnet in there. Got 16 inch drawer slides I'm gonna mount this frame on. And obviously it's got a pivot. I've got to cut this off yet, but that sits on there nice. This, I just had a piece, it's a 14 gauge uh, aluminum. I just stuck it in there and bent it with my usual technique of bending it around a pipe. And uh, I think, I know unlike metals, uh, they don't like each other, but you know what? Uh, for the time that it's gonna be in there that I'm not gonna worry about it, I'm just gonna rivet it on there. Uh, I'm, I'm going to paint the steel and I'll leave the aluminum as aluminum. I think that'll look nice. And then I'll take the drawer slides when this is all done and mount these on the uh, frame that I've already got welded out in the garage. So then the whole device will pull out. The only thing in addition I'm going to add to this, I think it's just I gotta make a little handle yet for this so I can just pull it out from the outside. And there it is with a little paint on it. Decided to put a little aluminum on the, uh, for a tray here. Just bent it over a pipe that if you watched my uh, outdoor lighting kind of video, it's kind of what I did. Put it in the vise here. You kind of bent it over uh, just to give it a little curve. And uh, that's the hinge. Put a little magnet on this end it's just a little round magnet like a little donut and uh put a screw in it to hold it in place i did tap and thread that so there's a little machine screw in there and then it comes down and just uh, attaches right there so pretty simple and then i'll attach this whole carriage to uh the two drawer slides now the other side of that top i just uh I don't have a brake, like I said in the past. 
I just kind of banged this out really, uh, literally, um, out of that same piece of aluminum and uh, mounted it to this rectangle on the bottom and just uh, pop riveted it on and then I'll put the uh, drawer slide on that side as well. So that'll be the other side of the top uh, mid grill. Just a continuation, kind of a, a finale of that build that I was going to do uh, between the two tanks under the grill. I got some one by one again um, square and kind of made, uh, really kind of overbuilt the thing. But anyway, it is what it is right now. Uh, I think I've got about 60 feet of that stuff in here. Uh, <clears throat> I did put it. A slide on the top for just a shelf and I know the shelf you're gonna tell me the uh, slides don't normally go this way I don't I'm plan on putting a lot of weight on here so I think uh, stress wise it should be fine and the other side would be the uh, the paper towel which pulls out uh, when you're cooking I think it'll be uh, it'll be handy um, otherwise <clears throat> I've got a couple plastic bins that fit in here rather loosely not formally and uh, can keep grill items in I've got a duplicate of the uh, of this one that'll fit in this space as well so that's it for that addition uh, the tanks will still fit on either side it's 16 wide it's 18 inch deep and I tacked it on the bottom inside on both sides here and then around the back sorry about the fast movement there i just tacked it in the back uh it does hang out oops that's a little bit tacky yet uh it does hang out just a little bit out the back uh, but not bad and uh, i just thought it'd be a nice addition to the uh to the grill because you're always looking for a place to put something and I found that I always needed uh, a paper towel or something to do some hand water, uh, cleaning or, or whatever. So anyway, that's the, uh, that's the end of this one. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.